the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Happy New Year. Yes, we have come here to thank God for all he has done to us in 2020, but at the same time, to ask for his blessings in this new year. And we do so through the intercession of Mary, Mother of God, whose solemnity we celebrate on the first day of the year. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, our God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the faithful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, may God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us so may your way be known upon earth among all nations your salvation may god bless us in his mercy 
May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel, before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy New Year once again. On this eighth day of the octave, the eighth day of Christmas, which we call the octave of Christmas, and the first of the year, 2020, the church greets the Blessed Virgin Mary, invoking her as Mother of God. In her, the eternal Son of the Father took our very flesh and through her became Son of David and Son of Abraham, as we read in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 1, verse 1. Thus, Mary is the true mother of God, or Theotokos, as we call her in Greek. The logic is simple. If Jesus is life, Mary is the mother of life. If Jesus is hope, Mary is the mother of hope. And if Jesus is peace, Mary is the mother of peace, and indeed, mother of the Prince of Peace. The first reading from the book of Numbers fittingly echoes Mary, the mother of Prince of Peace, as the author invokes, and you read this, 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. This is the blessing that the priests of the Old Testament gave the chosen people of Israel on the great religious feast days. And you receive this message, this blessing, on the first day of the year. So today, as an ecclesial community, we listen to this blessing again and receive it while asking the Lord to bless this new year which we are beginning. As we all know, the foregoing year has been a year marked by overwhelming challenges, the worst of which is the tragic pandemic that has shaken the entire world. We have spent the bulk of 2020 in anxiety and in an overly disoriented style of life. Many of our loved ones have lost their lives, let alone those who have lost their jobs, their business, their everything. However, there is one thing that we all thanks to God for, that we are sitting here alive. This is the greatest of the unprecedented situation that still torments us even as we begin this new year. It is very clear that only God can touch the depths of our souls, that his peace alone can restore hope to humanity. We need him to turn his face toward us, to bless us, to protect us, and give us his safety, his health, his peace, and prosperity in this new year. For this reason, we must begin this new year by asking for these precious gifts, the gifts I've just mentioned. Let us do so especially through the intercession of Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Prince of Peace, Mother of the Savior. May Mary help us discover the face of Jesus, Prince of Peace. May she support and accompany us in this new year, step by step. May she, whom we ceaselessly invoke as health of the sick, obtain for us a sure remedy for the current pandemic and allow no other calamity no affliction to prevail against us. May God bless you and keep you throughout this year. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before our ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial the Father. Through him all things we are made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake was crucified and upon the spirit, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Through the Holy Spirit, Mary became the Virgin Mother of Christ. With the Blessed Mother, we offer our intercessions. That Pope Francis and all world leaders work together for peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders grow in appreciation of the vital contributions of women in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers throughout the world will be strengthened by the Blessed Mother's life of willingness to heed God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who care for children will regard their vocation as a sacred trust from God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our sick, especially all suffering from COVID-19, experience the love and support of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That John Chacon, June Newton, Barbara McGinnis, and all of our faithful departed are at peace with our Heavenly Father, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of our faith family will be inspired to a deeper appreciation of the sacred responsibility of parenting, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for the names entered into our book of intentions, and for the intentions of Jay and Carolyn Jones, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you blessed Mary as your chosen handmaid. Strengthen us as we join her song of thanksgiving. We ask these things through her Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim wash together with exhortation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, Eduardo, his assistant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and the apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this word, and in communion with those whose memory venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Spirian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, gracious, accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, all our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands 
and with the eyes raised to heaven, to you, our God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once we are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and the blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some shared fellowship with your holy apostles and mothers, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Father Romy and the staff, I wish you all and your families every blessing in this new year. Thank you. Now bow your heads for the solemn blessing. The Lord be with you. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, and with holy patience to the end. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.